Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look with a pop of color. So I have some blue on my lower lash line and I normally am pretty intimidated by really vibrant colors. I tend to stick to browns and pinks and those more neutral type of things but I decided to be a little bit bold today and you can be a little bit bold too by doing this little simple trick. It hides the color a little bit but it's still noticeable. So if you like to see this look just keep on watching and let's jump right on in to this video. So we're gonna start by priming our eyelids. I know my Eyebrows don't look the greatest. I did them off camera, but it's because I like to fill them in and finish them after I do the eyes. So that's just what I've been doing recently, but we're going to prime our eyelids first. So I've been using, and you've seen it before in my videos, the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. And I'm still trying to finish this bad boy up. I feel like I'm so close. So I've just been using this, just putting it on my eyelids and then rubbing it out with my finger. So now we're going to set down that base with this Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's the pressed one. It's in the matte and poreless. And it's the shade Translucent, which is 100. So we're just going to set down that base with this powder just because you don't want any creases, any tackiness to put your shadow on. I'm sure you know that already, but in case you don't, now you know. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush to set down that concealer. So I did get a bunch of new palettes and I'm gonna explain how I got a lot of new palettes in a later video, but I did, so you're gonna see a lot of new palettes, a lot of new makeup in this video today. So like I was talking about earlier, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pop of color on the lower lash line, but that means the eyelid is going to be this neutral brown look. So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. This has been on my wish list forever. So I'm going to be using this. I haven't actually used the brown tones in this yet, but I'm going to be using this. And first, it's hard to tell what shades you're using, but I will try my best. I'm going to use the shade. I think it's so cream up here in this corner and I'm just going to put that in my crease. The brush I'm going to be do you Oh my. The brush I'm going to be using to do that is going to be the Morphe M441 brush. It's definitely dirty, but let's just ignore that part. So I'm just going to be swiping that back and forth, back and forth until it looks the way I want it to. So, let's see, looking at this palette, the next shade that I'm going to use is the one right next to it, which is called MFEO. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here, if you can see that. So, um, I just dipped my finger in another shade. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to be using that in the same spot, the crease. So I need to talk to you guys a little bit about like my moving situation. I move a little bit over a month from now. I had to stop talking because someone came home, so I didn't want to be talking when there was noise in the background, but the next shade I'm going to use on my outer V, outer corner, is, let me see if I can show you this shade right here, which is called... Pooter, Pooter, weird name, but okay, it's fine. So like I was saying, talking about moving, so I move June 8th, which is very, very soon. There's a lot to do in between now and June 8th. There's a lot of people that I'm trying to hang out with and, you know, people I want to see one last time before I leave, so I'm... Most of my time is spent like hanging out with people or it's spent, you know, preparing for Tennessee, whether that's preparing for college and 
getting my college set up or preparing for my job and applying for the job I'm going to be getting and just all of those things. There's a lot of things to be prepared for and packing. Haven't packed a ton, uh, but I'm trying my best <laughs> and trying to film YouTube videos because I want to have content available as much as possible. So that just means that there probably will be videos that are posted in this room even though I don't live here anymore and that's just because they're pre-filmed so the content will be coming don't you worry and it will not stop while I'm moving but I just have to work really hard to make sure that I have all the content that I need to post while I'm moving. My family is going to be living in some small apartments for a few months until they can find a bigger house to live in. They just need to get settled first in order to get that all settled and figured out. So I'm going to be living in tiny little apartments for a little while. Pause. I didn't tell you what brush I used. It was the Eco Tools brush and it's this double ended thing and I used the shading side. So next on my eyes, I think I'm going to go to a different palette. So I'm going to go into the Mar palette by ColourPop and I'm going to use the shade, I think it's called Detour. It's this, sorry, I don't want to blind you. It's this one right here. I'm going to put that all over my lid. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's super old, kind of gross. And I'm just going to spray it with my NYX spray. But anyways, back to what I was saying, so I'm going to be living in an apartment for a few months and then I'm going to be moving into dorms, so that's going to be on the campus of the school I'm going to be living in, so there's just a lot going on. My filming videos will definitely be a little bit weird for the next couple of months until I move into the dorms and have an official place to film my videos, so that's just a warning to you all that it's going to be a little bit interesting for the next couple of months, but thank you for your patience <laughs> um, with my content and everything. I really appreciate that. We're super close to 400, so thank you guys for that. That is so exciting. So I am super excited for that, but... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride the next couple of months. So I'm going to go off camera and just blend those edges together and then I will be right back to probably go to the face, I think, next. So I just finished blending and then I wiped the edges and now we're going to do the face part. So for primer today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I don't know if this is the best for oily skin, I think the best one for oily skin that Smashbox offers is the Minimizing Pore one. I did try that one. It was pretty good for the most part. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the shade Buff Bisque. And I'm almost done with this. So I've been using it a lot just because it's exciting to me to finish something off so I'm going to use this yes I know it's not my perfect shade try my best and didn't really know what shade matching meant when I got it but I've learned a lot since buying this so it's all good one of the things I've really been into lately is video editing and doing cool effects and all of that stuff. So if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should, it's Hannah Renee Banana. I recently posted a video that I did with one of my students at my church. She is honestly only two years younger than me, so I don't really consider her a student all that much, but um, we did a fun little random video together and <sighs> Once we started editing it, I was like, I'm going to do this really, really cool. So I definitely spent some time on it. And it's not the greatest ever, like I've definitely seen better, but it's the greatest for me. 
So I appreciate if you could check it out because I posted it. And it was a lot of fun to make. Editing wise and filming wise, it was fun. So make sure you check out that video. For concealer, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 08. If you've never tried this concealer, it definitely oxidizes. So that's something to keep in mind. That's why I got such a light shade. Because I knew. But I don't totally love this concealer just because it looks creepy under my eyes, in my opinion. Maybe that's the powder I'm using to set it. I don't know. But I've been trying different powders lately to see if I can make it, you know, look better. But it just doesn't look the greatest. And it's not full coverage either, which is something that I really need because I have some blueness in my inner corner. That's why I always double up on it. But right now, you can see my eye looks ghostly white <laughs> compared to the other eye, but then it oxidizes. And then it looks normal. So for powder, I've recently been testing out, I don't wanna spill it, but the Cody, is it Cody? I think it is, Cody Airspun powder. I've only tried it once so far, so I can't really tell you a lot, but it did look pretty good for the one time that I tried it. You can kind of tell if powders are gonna look good or not based off of the first try. So I'm just gonna use my setting brush again and I'm gonna set my under eyes. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna set the rest of the face with the same powder that I was talking about, but I'm actually gonna use a wet or damp beauty blender. I've been loving doing this recently. I think it just applies the powder better and just melts it into your skin. So I'm going to do that all over. Well guys, summer is almost here. It's almost approaching. Do you guys have any fun plans for summer? Like any fun vacations or anything like that? I'd love to hear about them, so comment them down below, but obviously I'm going to be moving out of state, so that's my fun plan, I guess. I'm going to be starting to work in July, and then I start school in August, so I'm going to have one month, June, of pure just moving and doing fun stuff. And exploring my new town, I do want to do that as well. So to contour my face today, I'm going to be using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I don't really think that this is a good bronzer shade. In my opinion, I just think it's cool toned. So I use it as a contour. Then for actual bronzer, I'm going to use the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. It looks like this. It's a cute little sun. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush in the shade, in the shade, <laughs> it's the blush brush, but I'm going to try it as a bronzer brush and see how I like that. I've never actually used this brush before, so we'll see if I like it or not. Nope, don't like this. I'm going to use this for blush later because there's not that much bronzer in it. So I'm going to use this slanted brush and really buff it in. I forgot that now is the time I wanted to do my under eyes, so I'm going to be using two different palettes to do so. First one is the Violet Voss Flamingo Palette, one of the ones that I got that I'll tell you about in a later video. But I really want to use this Ocean, oh gosh, I don't want to blind you, this Ocean Front shade right here. And I'm going to just buff it out a little bit very lightly. So I'm going to use this Anastasia brush to do so. Here we go. This is the nerve hacking part. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Then I'm going back into the Mar palette by Colourpop and using the shade El Rey, which is that blue shade. You've seen me use it before. I'm going to use that. On this little liner brush, it's the Equal Tools brush. It's the Define side, so it's like a little bit of a liner. Okay, so now that we have some blue, I just want to blend in the first blue that we use a little bit more. So I'm going to do that with the Anastasia brush. To blend that a little bit more and make it not as intense, because that definitely can be a little bit scary, I'm going to go in with my setting brush 
and just kind of buff over that area. This is out of my comfort zone, guys. I don't know if you can see the blue. I also forgot to fill in my brows, which I normally do at this point. So I'm gonna do that. I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, nothing new. I feel like the camera angles are all over the place today, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to go in with a blush now. I'm going to use the DLS blush in the shade Kitty Pink. So I'm going to use that bronzer blush brush. I'm going to try it with blush and see how I like this. I like that so much more. This is going to be a blush brush for me. I've also been liking to put it on my nose, especially because it's summer now because it gives you like a sun kiss kind of feel. But then I always use a powder brush just to blend it in after I do that. So it doesn't look fake, even though you know it's fake. And then for highlighter, my favorite Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. I feel like it matches the gold on my eyes very well. The last time I used this in a video, I broke it, but then Becky, the girl that's in my video with me on Instagram, she bought me a new one. So I thought that was so nice. So now I have a new one. It's the same travel size too. So now that that's done, I've actually been liking to set my face with setting spray first and then doing mascara recently. I know that a lot of things in my makeup application have changed since I've last done a makeup tutorial with you guys. But I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. They came out with a new shade, a new color spray. I was so excited to see that. I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to use a beauty blender to just press it in. Then I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Setting Spray for my actual spray. So for the last part in my routine, mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. This lash curler, I couldn't tell you where it's from. So, oh, it's from Revlon. I think I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Still testing this out. I definitely think this is more of a lengthening mascara than a volumizing mascara. And typically, I go for lengthening, so, but I still have been enjoying it. It's not like the worst. That mascara on the lower lash line definitely hides the blue, but it still is viewable, but it just makes it less intimidating to wear blue. And lastly for lips, I'm just going to use my baby lips. Sorry that I'm pretty boring as far as lips go. I just don't wear lipstick on a regular basis, so I figure that should be what I portray on my channel as well. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other makeup looks you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. So I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys.